Hey everybody, welcome back to Family Firearm Reviews. Kyle again, and today we're gonna check out the LC9S. So this is kind of for concealed carry on a budget. It is very small, and it does have a few features that are great about this firearm. To get right to the numbers, you're looking at a 3.12 inch barrel length. You're looking at an overall length of six inches. You're looking at an overall height of 4.5 inches, and you're looking at a width of under an inch. They say it's about 0.9 inches. So uh, overall weight, it's about 17 ounces. Uh, capacity is where you're limited. It's a single stack, so you've only got seven plus one. It has two safeties. It's a right-handed thumb safety, and then it does have the trigger safety. Another thing in here is it does have the magazine disconnect, meaning it will not fire unless we were to place one of our empty magazines in here the trigger will not function. So that's another safety feature, but that's not always something I look for in a concealed carry. That may be a drawback to this firearm, right? So we do have a nice set of sights right here. They're three dot white sights, so it's pretty easy to get uh, sights whenever you are aiming at your targets. It does not have front slide serrations, which is a bit of a, dr a drawback. It does have rear slide serrations, and you can get in there pretty good. It's a fairly small firearm. It did come with two mags. The one base plate does not have the extra pinky grab. So this one, a little bit of an extended mag, still only seven rounds, but I'll be able to get my pinky on there. So we'll see how those fare with the control. Now there are three different models to this. There is the EC9S, which is the one below this. That's more the budget one. The sights are actually fixed. Uh, you cannot adjust them here. You can actually drift these sights a little bit. Uh, and then there is the Pro. The Pro is the one above this. The Pro actually does not have the trigger disconnect and that is really the only difference, right? So the price point on these, uh, you're looking around 225 to $300. So they are on the budget end of the firearm market. So we are gonna run uh, 200 rounds through here. So we're gonna run the normal. We're gonna run you know, three different styles, 115 grain. This one is factory reloaded, so we can see if it'll take reloads if you guys reload. And then we're gonna run that 124 grain with that heavier weighted bullet. That way, when you shoot your self-defense ammo, you can get comfortable shooting things like that. So now that we've gone over the specs, let's head out to the range to shoot. All right, now that we're out on the range, we're gonna take some shots with the LC9S. Now these aren't my first shots. I have carried this for a few years. I've had this firearm for quite some time, but I thought you guys would use a good, honest review. So same thing, we're gonna run the Remington first, we're gonna run Blazer ammo, and then we're gonna run some 124 grain ammo today. So remember, this is only seven rounds, so right now we only have seven shots. Usually you could load this with one round, pull the mag out, put another one in, so you can have that plus one capacity when you're carrying. It does have that thumb safety, so if you do carry wherever at on your body, it's not really a big issue. So let's take some shots. So that was the shorter base plate. I'm now gonna run the extended base plate with the 115 grain ammo. See how that goes. Now we'll run the 124 grain. That's gonna be more like the self-defense ammo that I'd be carrying. That's all she wrote. Okay. I have spent a lot of time around this gun, next to this gun, riding in the truck with this gun, but I've never fired it. So here I go. Ooh. You weren't kidding to hold on. <laughs> <laughs> she kicks a little bit. All right, so I carried this firearm concealed for a lot of years. So I carried in the small of my back, right? So I'm gonna show you how that works. I'm gonna pull from that position, take a few shots, run a couple mags through it, just so you can see some of the concealed carry options with the different firearms we have.
we go. Round wasn't all the way in. Now, we'll do our wrap up and we'll get Lauren's thoughts on this little buddy. So this is a little different than our normal videos. This is not my first shots, but it was Lauren's first shots. <laughs> this was my concealed carry for many years. It was a great gun and it still is a good gun. I've just upgraded to something with a little bit more capacity, uh, double stack. So we're gonna do a review on my new concealed carry firearm later. So make sure you come back for that. But this is on the budget end. It is out there for you. It does not have a rail where you can pull laser or light. It's specifically designed for that concealed carry. It is very small, very smooth in a lot of the areas. Just a little bit of stippling in the important areas. Um, it is pretty kicky for somebody who doesn't have a lot of grip strength. This may not be the firearm for them. It does have quite a bit of recoil. Very bouncy. It is. Uh, if you could watch me, even me on that first shot, you know, it always surprises me a little bit every now and again. But it is a good, a good firearm. Mags are readily available. They have upgraded to like a Gen 2 version of these. They've got a little bit of a different design on the grips. So this is the Gen 1. Um, like I said, I've had this for a very, very long time. It does come with a little bag. So it, there is some nice features to it. It does come with the two different style of base plates. So you can have different mags. Like I said, mags are very inexpensive. So this is not a bad option. It is a great shooter. It is very accurate. Um, I've never had any reliability issues with this. You saw today, I was shooting pretty well. Lauren hit pretty much everything she was aiming at, and it ran through all the different ammunitions. We did put 200 rounds through this today as well. What and were your the thoughts? The size and weight is really, really nice, especially going for that concealed purpose. It's a great size. It's a great weight. What about the kick? It's so much kick. I would not uh, carry this gun. I wouldn't pick this gun up to shoot it as my favorite. It would not be on my choices list. Um, but if you had more grip strength, I have some weakness in my wrists and things like that are difficult for me. Uh, so it wouldn't be a daily choice for me, no. Like I said, I always had this because of the concealability and the way I carried it. I showed you at the end of the video how I carried it for all those years. I do carry in the small of my back. My new one, I do carry right here, appendix. So we'll go through some draw styles with that too in some later videos. But we still had a great time shooting this firearm and I'm gonna retire her and replace her with that new double stack nine millimeter. We'll do that review next. All right, thanks guys. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Comment below, we wanna hear from you. Get more content from Family Firearm Reviews by joining our Patreon and